Flame crew's in the house. Oh, we got Chris here. Uh, regress me not. Casey McLeod. There's a name from the past. Rizzy Boy. Yes, hi from Adelaide. Chris Paul. Mate, all these names are just all the same old names. Jamie. Hey, I never said I was good. That's why I'm practicing. That's right, um, that's right, uh, KC, yep, 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 Sylv, yep, yep, Ben's views, finally live, yeah, I know, I keep seeing your comments, Ben, <laughs> you were saying, we ain't going live, mate, here I am, can you hear me, one, two, 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 one, two, two, one, two. Just having a beer too, just quietly. Just a, a, a bit of medicine. Just a can full of medicine makes the medicine go down. Thanks to Anthony Duria and all my other um, beer fund donators. Thank you very much. Wouldn't bought a carton today with the beer fund, so thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Wasn't anything on special though, unfortunately. I walked around that shop for probably an hour. I had like 20 people come up to me saying, mate, can I help you? I said, no, 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 no. I just like walking around the bottle shop. It's it's part of my one of my daily activities. You know, I'm sort of just stuck at home doing a lot of stuff, so I don't get out and walk that often. So I just go and walk to the bottle shop and it's air conditioned. It's um, fully stocked. Mate, there's so much stock in there. It's just fantastic. Nothing with stickers on it today, though, unfortunately. But uh, I did manage to pull a carton of Forex Gulls. So there's not much more I need than that. What other song do I have? I'm insane. Oh, what a shame. I see it in your eyes. I see it in your smile. The words I can't describe. They're tearing me apart. She went and had some fish and chips today. It was really good. Really good. But I, I probably should have scored it a little bit higher in hindsight. Nah, well. Not much I can do about that now. It's already been filmed and I've already edited it. So I got a few, uh, I got a few. Uh, I'm just 
thinking, right, well, I've just got to go out and eat some, just go and do like food reviews outside while I can. So I can like upload them. I've already got one. I've already got two, which I can like use. But I might just, I've got another video tomorrow, which was uh, we went, uh, me and the band went up to Brisbane. So and I need to just get that one out of the way, mate. Seriously, I got so many videos that I need to just get out of the way, but I'm too scared to like start pumping them out because what happens if everything shuts down? Then I got no content. I won't be able to film anything. So just got to spread it all out. Uh, what's this? Oh, thank you, Gareth. 19841. Cheers. Australian five dollars. That's like one dollar US. <laughs> but if you're a US person, you want to donate, mate. Now's the time. But you can double your mate. You put 20 bucks, I get like 40 bucks. No, actually, I think the dollar went back down. I couldn't believe it. Like last night I was looking at the like the Aussie dollar. And even the New Zealand dollar was stronger than our dollar. Well, it wasn't stronger, but our dollar dri dipped to the New Zealand dollar. <laughs> What's going on? It's ah, truth, cobbers. Jeez. G'day, pokers. Thank you, Gareth. I appreciate that. Tear Chicken Place. Kenny Rogers. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, G'day, Joey. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can still play that. Mr. Strongy Head, he's a good man. You should give him strike me Yes, I can. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. Can I play my video outro? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I can. Um. Yeah, that's right, it's this one here. This is Greg's kitchen, but today I made something I didn't make. I actually just took it out of the freezer and nuked it in the microwave. But it was delicious, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, I have been working on one song. And I wrote all these songs that I wrote like 20 years ago. They're all 20 years old. Got a picture of you. It's in my mind. I don't know who you are. Oh, where you are tonight I wish I knew your name I'd whisper it softly to you I wish I knew you The century you was what just being like us I got a picture of you in my Yeah. Because I 
practicing guitar a few weeks ago and then my neighbor's kid comes over he's like bang 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 on the door and i was like hey what do you want he goes oh my god i've just been this year playing guitar you're awesome i'm like well you obviously haven't heard too many people playing guitar before he goes oh no well i've just got a guitar and i'd love some lessons i'm like yeah god's sakes just here practicing but uh, he hasn't, and I said, oh, yeah, we'll just knock on my door and uh, if, you, if you hear me playing or something, knock on the door and, and um, you know, I'll help you. I'll give you a few lessons. But he, he hasn't knocked on my door since, so that's all right. So how was that one? That song, what's that song called? In My Mind. I've got to practice before I stick it on Greg's tunes. Ah, <sighs> 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 Joey, do you love Scott, do you, Joey? Can you sing It's Grego from Australia? How you going, mate? I look like the guy from Red Gun. Anything you want to ask a Macca's employee? Yeah, no, no, Macca's pretty well. Well, I don't, but I don't care. I just eat their food. Um, Is... Is the hamburger patties uh, microwaved? Okay, there's one. Can you do some Katy Perry? I don't know. And there's only one song that I know how to play. Uh, there's only one cover song. Like everything I know is originals. And uh, there's only one cover song that I know. And it's this one. <coughs> Hang on. Let me get ready. Remember, donate to the beer fund for this free concert. It's um, Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. It's the only song, cover song I know. Do you want to hear it, though? That's what I want to know. Do you want to hear it, my version? Oh, 50 bucks. Woohoo! Good on you, Gareth. Enjoy a slab of beer. Thank you very much. True Aussie legend. Well, that I am. Well, I am an Aussie, but legend? <laughs> in my own mind, I guess I am. And in many people's minds. It's amazing, like, how often people come up and say hello. Like when I'm out shopping or walking down the street or, or just anything. I remember I had this one lady come up to me 
like a few months ago. She goes, she's probably my age, maybe a bit younger. She's like, you're Greg, aren't you? And I said, yeah, yeah. She goes, oh, my son watches you. Oh, I wish you'd stop making videos because he just watches you all the time. I said, oh, that's good. No, it's not good. All he does is watch you. I don't like him watching older men. I'm like, whoa, settle down, sunshine. I'm saying, well, there's not a problem, you know. Obviously, you know, there's uh, probably some issues going on. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, she was getting up me because her son watched my videos. <laughs> and I just said, look, sweetheart, darling, um, he obviously needs a man in his life, and I'm that man to fill those needs. So, um, yeah, I mean, just let him watch my effing videos for F's sake. So who wants to hear the only song I know? This is guitar practice. So, I mean, if you switched on this for something else, then you, you're on the wrong channel. Although later on, I do have a, uh, the 4X bottle cap lid. Oops. 4X bottle cap lid uh, trivia. So stay tuned. Oh, who's this? Well, I need to put some glasses on. I can't even see what's going on. I'll put these glasses on. They're missing a, a thing here. <laughs> but these are the ones I usually wear because it's really easy to just put glasses on. It's like this. All right, okay. You don't have to worry about poking yourself in the eye with this, I think. Like, ah, far out! You just go like this. Okay. It is a fashion statement. Uh, Sets, thank you very much, Grego. Love your work, brother. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Sets, very much. And of course, Gareth, mate, enjoy a slab of beer on me, mate. Been watching your channels for years. You're a true Aussie legend. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Gareth B. Actually, I probably should keep these on. Uh, everyone says, mate, you look like Rolf Harris when you're wearing these. I'm like, oh, I better pay, take those ones off. Actually, I've got these other ones. Mate, all my glasses are like taped together. <laughs> like these ones are broken. These ones are broken. They're all broken. They, they just don't make glasses like they used to. Maybe I can wear these ones. How do these ones look? <laughs> ah. Right. Let me get down here. Barry Burko's glasses. Oh, good old Barry. Oh, yeah, sure. I've got my uh, electric guitar in my other room set up in my bedroom. I, I, was start, I thought I'd start practising that, but <laughs> nothing nothing seems to prevail around me. I, I started practising for a while. 70 bucks on beer. Oh, 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 yes, but out of that I'll probably get uh, 45 or something. YouTube takes a massive cut. They are absolute commies. It's they're, they're, they're commies. They're taking all, they take most of your funds. I reckon, I, I mean, it's fair enough for ad revenue on your channel that they take a cut because, you know, they're doing all the work. But for this sort of thing, mate, it should be maybe 10%, I reckon. I reckon that's fair. Or 15, but they take like, I don't know what it is, too much anyway. The internet's crap there to Malcolm Turncape. Oh, he is. Oh, don't get me started on Malcolm. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Am I self isolating? Well, can you see anyone else? I got me and my plants. I have to put a towel on my chair because all the leather's peeling off. Well, the fake leather. It's not even leather, is it? It's like vinyl. Uh, but this is my room that I work in. This was my spare bedroom, but I didn't want... But people kept saying, oh, Greg, can I come and stay at your house? So I thought, oh, no, I got rid of the bed. Made this my office. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I haven't got a bed to, for you to stay in. <laughs> i got a couch, though. And I do have a blow-up mattress. 
I went and bought a blow-up mattress just in case off uh, Gumtree. It was one of these like $200 uh, blow-up mattresses. Paid 30 bucks for it. It's been used a few times. Works well. Play a song already. Okay. Okay, I'll pull up the lyrics. Hang on. <laughs> this is I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. Let's hope I don't F it up. I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you while you are sleeping. While you're far away and dreaming. I could spend my life with this sweet surrender. I could stay lost in this moment. I just want to stay. I just want to stay. Bring me with a song and forever. Don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. I don't want to miss the day. See you when I dream of you. Atrocious that version. I always get stuck between the high bits and the low bits. Actually, I don't even know the lyrics. I usually just, when I sing that song, it's about half the length. <laughs> I just make it up. Just make the lyrics up as I go. Uh, so.
So, uh, I'm already out of my mind. I already am. <laughs> Your girlfriend says that you think I sound awful. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, she could be right. That was terrible. But, uh, you know, I'm singing here in public. It's not easy, you know. I'm sweating bullets. Look at the sweat coming through. Lucky I've got my uh, khaki shirt on. That's usually why I wear this because, you know, us old men, we like to sweat quite a bit. I do have my fan right here. I do have fans. This is about the only fan. Oh, I've got a few fans out there too. I should turn this on. Whew, it's, uh, it's pretty warm. The, uh, there's no wind at the moment. Normally there's wind howling through this window right here to the outside world. Can you hear the birds? It's my plants. All my plants here. My plant collections. There's my esky. Let's see what I got in here. Yes! Don't you just hate it when you're watching someone, they're like, oh, I've just got to get up and go and do something. Yeah, I'm prepared, mate. It's Boy Scout. It's my Boy Scout Well, I was in the Cubs. I was in the Cubs in the old days. It was the good old days, mate, the good old days. Am I taking requests? Well, I don't know. That was the only song that I sort of half knew. Uh, I only know a few... How many cones have I had now? America, please play every day. Well, mate, I, I would. Like, I've, I've got some calluses. Well, I've actually, I've, peel, I've been peeling the calluses off my fingers. I actually haven't played in quite a while. Well, about a week. <laughs> You can see which chords I use here. <laughs> I don't even know what the chords are called. I think that's a G. I got a picture of you. That's some my Brian stuff on a bog roll. He hasn't been over for a bog roll yet. So um, I've still got 18 left. I actually write the date of... Uh, when I first crack open the new bog roll, and it was the 16th that I cracked open my last bog roll. I put the date on it. It's been five days, and it's only been uh, used about a third of the way. You see, you you just got to be economical, mate. You got to be smart in these times of desperation. You just got to be smart. Every day is legit. Mate, that's a good song. I couldn't play any of it right now. That was 10 years ago. I haven't played it since. Um, da, da, da. <laughs> G'day from Victoria. Mr. Strappy Head is so good in bed. You should keep it. Strappy Head. Yeah, what was that song that I knew? Um, no, I got a few songs in here. I'm, I'm practicing for my uh, my Greg's Tunes channel that I need to start putting music on. But, uh, you know, you just got to, you got to practice and everything. I can't, I, I, seriously, I'm that bad at guitar. I can only play my own songs. <laughs> I 
I don't I don't know any other any other songs. Uh, you literally binge watch my videos every day. Okay. Oh, thanks, Renee. That's really nice. What videos do you binge watch? I come from a land down under. There you go. Um, hi from Brisbane. Brisbane Blogs. Coping through this far. Well, I do have, uh, I still have the flu. I've got the flu and, well, I've, I've been to the doctor, but it just doesn't seem to be getting any better. So I thought I'd self-medicate. <laughs> As you do. Uh, you know, I have an aspirin. I went to the doctor and he's like, do you want to go and get a, do you want to go and get a corona test? And I was like, I don't know. Should I? He's like, oh, well, if you want to. I was like, nah, I don't want it. He goes, right, yeah. Well, there's not much you can do, just rest. I was like, okay. So I've been resting at home, you know. I've, I have been out. You've seen my vlogs. <laughs> Go for a drive and, and this sort of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. I was actually supposed to go up to Brisbane today with the band. Uh, they have, they got two gigs on today. One's, one was a live uh, thing in Brisbane. And the other one was, well, it's tonight actually. They're playing at the, uh, some, at the Jacob's Well Tavern. They're playing tonight. So I couldn't go. So I hope they have a good time. Thank you, Trinity, IHJ. Love you, Grego. Watch you all the time. Will you ever find the best fish and chips in Australia? <laughs> Might have already found it. It's not exactly Australia. I mean, it's just the Gold Coast, but it's amazing how many fish and chip shops there are. Like today I went to do a fish and chip review, and on the way I saw another one. I was like, ah, oh. like you type in Gold Coast fish and chips into Google, and it comes up with maybe... 15 or 20. But if you type in the suburb and fish and chips, then it comes up with heaps more. So like, there's so many fish and chip shops. There's probably about 50 or 60, I reckon. G'day, Ricky. Cameron wanted me to say g'day, Ricky. You're pretty good on guitar. Good on you. Hello from the UK. G'day, Elmo. With the, I, 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 that with you song, uh, when I was that's twenty years old when I was married, and uh, my wife bought me uh, some studio time as a gift, and I went to some guy's like shed in his backyard, and we recorded that song. He did like all this stuff, and he was, he like he did it, and I was like, well, that's not exactly what I want. But, oh, mate, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, glue, you tried the electric. You're curing my COVID. Oh, that's good. Um, okay, where are my practice tips of champs? Da, 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 da. Oh, God, it's flying by. Brian Sai. Yeah. If you go to Brian, type in Brian Sai, uh, you'll see. Uh, there's nothing with me in it yet, but we're planning on some more videos, and we're planning uh, some uh, live. It's it's a house techno music. <laughs> so if you like techno, mate, it's it's old man's techno music. I really like it. I, I listen to it all the time, and I get boogie with it. We went to uh, Brisbane in the Valley and played a gig at Sub Rosa a few few weeks ago. We went there and met a whole bunch of people. I was just as soon as I walked in, we went to this nightclub, Sub Rosa, in the valley. As soon as I walk in, this guy comes up. He's, like, walking to the bar. He's like, oh, Gregor! I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh, g'day. Um, I forget his name, Adam or something. Oh, what's your old time? Then I walk down somewhere else. Some guy goes, comes up to me, and he's like, oh, Greg, hi. What's your old time? And 
and uh, then there's some other people came up. There was a whole table of people. There's so many people out of like the 50 or 100 people in the club, you know, 15 people uh, came and said hello. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's pretty weird, you know. I'm used to it now, though. Like just everyone in the shops, when I go to Kmart, people come up, walking down the street, beep, beep, Gregor! Uh, what's that other song I, I play? It's on my music channel. Uh, oh, it's this one. It's a, it was a song I wrote uh, about, uh, it was about George Bush, really, and, you know, the, that that uh, war that got started. And, oh, mate, uh, and then we went, everyone was like, um, everyone was telling John how, don't, don't go to war, don't. He still did. <laughs> We're like, ah, effing hell. Um, you wish I was still in Adelaide. Oh, man, I, haven't, I haven't been there for, oh, geez, quite a while. Um, <laughs> okay. I was actually watching um, something about <laughs> you renewed your something. I was actually watching something last night about um, that on Netflix. It was this series on um, Hot Girls Wanted or something. I was like, geez, you know, these, these poor people, they just, they don't know what they're doing, these young kids. They're just getting sucked into whole lots of stuff. Been watching since uh, Greg's Kitchen hit 25,000 subs. Gee, that was a long time ago. Ever thought of learning the bass? Cranking on the all electric. Got a few electric guitar songs. Oh, this is one. Just none. Uh, um, but there's a no, it's this one. Spread the 
would you try to turn the coin the truth you almost die so many lies that you created let's turn the peace of love into pain you are the fool that goes for i am the voice that you It's about all the songs I know anyway. <laughs> well, there's today's uh, concert on uh, Grego Channel. So what else can I do? Oh, so I was going to play um, the bottle cap uh, trivia, if I can read it. You can't even read the, like these classes. Hey, you go to the optometrist, get glasses. You still can't even use them. Well, the writing in this is so tiny, I can't even see it. Can you? I can't. It, it won't even, like, focus. Well, there we go. Ooh, no cheating. Maybe I need a bit more light on the subject. I do have this one. It's, get, it's got dark pretty quick. Like it was sunny outside. Just Well, it is six, 10 past 6 here. It's 10 past 6 at night. The sun's going down. <laughs> oh, don't we all wish that? <laughs> um, right. Uh, thanks for the concert. Thank you. <laughs> You're my son's biggest fan. Oh, that's good. Right. Uh, how about who wants to play Bottle Cat Trivia? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone at all? If, if you do, I need to just turn the light on. 
Do you like my short shorts? <laughs> we wear shorts, shorts. I've turned into my father, you see. I am my father. He used to wear like, well, it was the 70s back then, you know. People wear short shorts back then. And... All right. Crikey. I'm still getting them. Okay. Bottle cap crew trivia. Who wants it? Okay, just for those people, I'll play my two things. Okay. Uh, if you notice how I play guitar, it's always just, I only know like four chords. So. Mr. Stripey head, you're so good in bed, you should give him. Stripey And Greg's kitchen is. This is Greg's. How was it? <laughs> this is Greg's kitchen with the food. I can put it there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's kitchen where the food is being a little. F. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's kitchen where the food is being a little. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, I guess it's dun 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 dun. Well, it's bottle cap review time. It's bottle cap trivia. Bottle cap trivia. It's bottle cap trivia time, so get on your thinking caps. That's right, get on your thinking caps, folks, because it's bottle cap trivia time. Right. Right. Oh, hang on, we've got a super chat here. Thank you very much to Lance Johnson. I love the Johnson. Thank you, Greg, for always staying so positive. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, have you seen my vlog, Lance? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, life absolutely shits me most of the time. But ah, effort. Who cares? It'll last me through to at least 2022. I'm pretty good with the old dunny paper. I'm pretty good with it. I know how to use dunny paper. I've been doing it for... 32 years. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right. Um, so thank, thank you very much, Lance. Uh, all right. Bottle cat trivia. It's bottle cat trivia. I can't even effing read this. I mean, who what sort of person has eyes that can read that? I mean, it's, it's maybe an ant. All right. And it's got glue on it too, which doesn't help. I can't use that one. Okay. Of which Australian state or territory is Mount Bartley something? Is Mount Bartle for I can't read that. The highest peak. Mount Bartle Fried. Okay, well, I can't even read that one, so it's got glue all over it. I can't even read this with glasses on. No, Mike's right, it was Queensland. Well, I could just make stuff up now and just. <laughs> all right. Who won the first Norm Smith medal? For Brisbane Lions. Actually, I know someone who's playing for Richmond this year. Uh, uh, one of my uh, one of my best mates' uh, nephews is playing for Richmond this year. Saw him grow up. Now he's like this much bigger than me, and he's dedicated. Okay. 
No, not Simon Black. No, not too many Brisbane. Uh, there's probably not too many. Well, uh, uh, Brisbane doesn't have AFL supporters. Let's face it. We don't watch that game. Thanks, Tim. Boss. Uh, no. No, it was in 2001. Norm Smith medal. Okay. And it was Sean Hart, whoever he is. Right. Next question. Okay. Um, what? What was rugby league known as when it began in 1895? I don't know what's Mr. X is up to, so you might as well <laughs> stop asking that. Northern Union. Look, I mean, these questions, they're, they're for Australians or probably Queenslanders because <laughs> it's on the Forex lid. Okay, let's see if we can find one that anyone will know. Who wrote Waltzing Matilda? Okay. Oh, thank you very much, legendary Masu Moon. Oh, Renee, look, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what people do. I sit at home all day by myself, staying away from everyone else. I don't know what everyone else is up to. John Williams. <laughs> Banjo Patterson. Yes, Jake, well done. Melbourne, I don't know what that is. All right. What city did the Commonwealth Parliament first sit? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone at all? Uh, this trivia is just going nowhere. But thanks, legendary Masumani. I do need the beer funds. I'm down to my last, well, how many have I had today? I've had that one and this one. Uh, there was, I'm, I'm down to my last 28 cans. I can't play any other songs than the ones. So Melbourne was right. I can't play any other songs uh, other than the ones that I know. I'm not a musician. I'm just some Darrow who sits in his uh, spare bedroom in front of a webcam. <laughs> okay. Uh, which state of Australia was the first... What? Isn't that a swear word? Which state of Australia was the first colony to be established by the British? <laughs> That's easy. Running low. New South Wales, yeah. That's right. Oh, Keenan Connor. Tort, 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 tort. Thank you very much, Keenan. By any chance, are your relatives Irish? Just, just saying. Van Diemen's Land. You know, Australia was first um, discovered by the Dutch. We could all be like speaking Hollandaise right now. No, we're speaking English. The Dutch didn't want us. And you know what? I heard there was like uh, people here before the Aborigines as well. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know how true that is, but maybe it, uh, it could have been a, a, a tribe of pygmies or something, I reckon. I could be not all there. Oh, good, 
bit like you. Uh, what is the highest innings total scored in a test cricket match? Right. You could Van go is Dutch. I can't even read it. So, I mean, look at this. I mean, I can't even read it. I have to hold it up here because I can't see this. Can you, can you read that? Is that 952 for six versus India? That's, that's why I'm having problems trying to read this because look at that. Can you read that? I can't. Okay, in what something was Forex, oh, in what year was Forex established? Hmm. Let's see. Is it written on there? Hmm. Oh, there's a hint. Eighteen eighty-eight. Oh God, you can't even read on this. Right, and that was trivia. Oh, well, that sucked. Can't even read any of this stuff. It's got bits of glue all over it, or they stamp the lid on it right where the things are, or the writing's too small. I can't see it. Ah, oh, straight. What is the floral emblem of Australia? Entire <laughs> happy man. <laughs> Why are they called apartments when they're all together? Good question. Very good question. Right. I'll dig into my thing here. And number three. Now, these are only 3.5% alcohol. They're not full strength. So they're very light in alcohol. Love that sound. How's Bernice? Um, well, she's pretty good, I think. She, what, she's in uh, Singapore. Just living the dream. Now, um, did I just ask a question there? There's the answer anyway, whatever it was. Golden wattle. Does it come out backwards for you? Is it backwards, like that writing? Is everything here backwards? Like, this is my left hand. Is this my right hand? My glasses, you're laughing at these because they're taped together. Well, it could be more like this one's. Can I? How's it going? Got a few pairs. Actually, I got a thing from Specsavers saying, Greg, come in and get some new glasses. I'm like, yes, that's a effing good idea. Do need some new ones because all mine have got and broken. Yeah, effing heck. Ah, how's the flu? Yeah, I'm slowly getting over it. Actually, like two days ago, I woke up and I was like just lying in bed, like, ah, uh, I couldn't. I was trying to pull myself up. You know, when you get that dead arm, like I've got it now, that dead arm feeling. And yesterday I woke up and I thought, oh, that's, you know, I feel all right. And then this morning I woke up and I went to bed at like midnight and I woke up and I was like, oh, no, it's 6 a.m. I hate doing that. And then I looked at my phone and it said it was 9 a.m. I was like, oh, I had a sleep in. Wow, that's amazing. I never have a sleep in, even though I can. I very rarely do. 
Um, where was I? What, what was I even talking about? God, I just talk crap most of the time. Uh, what else was I saying? Yeah, but anyway, I've just like I've just felt sick. You know, I just like today, I, I just my whole body just feels like it's like dead and. And my throat started getting sore, and I was like, oh, no, that's no good. And I saw, uh, I was looking on Facebook before, and this mate from, um, well, I, I used to work with him in Switzerland. He was an American. You now he's married to some doctor living in Sydney, and he's, one of his sister's friends died from the, the thing that's going on. Crazy. Fully sick, bro. And he's like, don't think it can't happen to you. He was, you know, 45 with three kids. So, hey, it can happen. <laughs> Have I been fishing lately? No, I haven't actually. I got my, I got my poles right there. See? There's my poles right there. Always keep them here. Nice and handy. Just in case. Just in case. Thank you, do it, Dan. I really appreciate that. Four, four dollars and forty nine cents. Four forty nine. Does that does that mean anything? Four twenty does, I think. Four twenty is um, uh, forty minutes before five p.m. You see. Yeah, uh, g'day, Wheelie. Uh, da, 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 da. Movie quiz, mate. I don't even see movies. One thing I don't ever watch is movies. I just got no interest in watching a movie. Like, I'll just sit there, I'll go and sit in the cinema, and then the movie will start, and I'm like, you oh, know, so can we leave? <laughs> I haven't got the patience, mate. Must be my ADHD. I haven't got the patience to just sit and watch a movie. There. There's only a few movies that I could sit and watch, maybe a nice war one. I just uh, on Netflix, I just watched the whole series of the Vietnam War. Very interesting, that one. Very interesting. And then I watched, uh, but before that, I watched the whole series of World War Two. That was interesting. You know what? That, uh, that Vietnam War was like a, opened my eyes to a lot of things. Made the communists won, and now they're still living in a communist shithole, being dictated to, and everyone hates their life. If only Americans had just hung around that little bit longer, but wow, well, well, they probably couldn't have. Now, World War One, though, it was really interesting because they, the Germans were all hyped up on speed. That's why they could fight all day and all night, because they were given speed. Yeah, it's amazing. I learned quite a lot from that series. But I like on the Netflix. I like going to the documentaries and just watching this one, these documentaries on things. Kenmore days, yeah. I used to live in Kenmore. Where do I live? What street was it? Marshall Lane, one of those main, the main, one of the main streets. Marshall Lane. Yep. Yeah, still probably got stuff there. <laughs> But I never collected. So I'm just moving. I'll come back and collect it. Like 10 years later. Nah, you can have it. Um, music quiz. Man, I don't even know. I don't know anything about anything. So I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm not as smart as I think I is. How about I try another one of these? Which Australian achieved the first ever hat trick in Test cricket? Ooh, geez, I don't even know that one. Oh, it's probably some really old person who we've never heard of. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fred Boffett. Never heard of him. Okay. What's this one? In cricket, they're all cricket questions. So if you don't like cricket or no cricket, Matt's, I love cricket. Love watching it. I love watching a test match. I still love it when uh, 
McGrath and Warren were playing. I used to love, um, I used to hate watching um, Tubby Taylor bat because he'd, he'd score like like three runs an hour. It was so boring. I remember seeing, um, what's his name, that's fast bowler, really fast one with the blonde hair. Saw him at the pub and I was so blind and I went up to him. Hey, hey. What's his name? Yeah, I see. I got I got a really bad memory. And Craig Oakris. Um Oh Brett Lee, that's right, Brett Lee. I saw him at the pub. I used to live where I used to live at Kenmore. Um who was that Australian captain? You see? I can't even think straight now. It's because my mind is just like fully like all over the shop most of the time. Alan Border. You see Alan Border there all the time in the in the Coles supermarket with his wife shopping. Being alone. What? In cricket, what are the stumps made? In cricket, what are the oh ashes made up of? Yeah. Burnt balls or stumps. So they don't even know. They don't even know. I thought it was stumps, but here they're saying burnt balls. God. Oh, that sounds painful. Oh, let's see what heaps of them. Heaps of them. How much beer have I been drinking to collect all these? That's over like several years. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's uh, thank you. Thank you very much, um, Super Chat. Legendary Massa Moon. Here's a top up. Go on, skull another. Thank you very much, Legendary. I appreciate it. Oh, I do love my beer. What's the best beer? Well. It's very subjective, beers, because people, uh, well, people all like a whole lot of different things, you know. I think most people like KFC. That's why the KFC videos do well. So I was next. I was at the pub down the road, and I ran into some fans uh, recently. And I always say, and I, I said, "Oh, mate, who wants to shout me a beer?" <laughs> As you do. I mean, here I am, they're like, they're blind drunk, all these kids. They're like, I don't know, 18 or 19. They're like, ah, oh, Greg, I can't believe it's you. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's shouting me a beer? <laughs> oh, I will. Sweet. But uh, what was his name? Cody. Cody and the boys. Yeah. I've seen him at the Dan Murphy's a few times since then. The Great Northern. No, there is no beer shortage. There's no shortage of this is a thing with this whole thing. There's no shortage of everything. It's just the uh, logistics of getting it out. Because as soon as it's in the shops, mate, it's sold, it's gone. So they just need to just keep bringing it. They need more truckies on the road. To keep bringing it, so there's definitely there's no shortage of food or anything. It's just getting it to the shops. That's the problem. So don't stress, everyone. Don't stress. I've got plenty of toilet paper. Absolutely, heaps of it. I bought a thirty pack. Is it a thirty pack or is it a twenty pack? Oh no, it's quite a lot anyway. It might have been a twenty four pack. I bought a twenty four pack just before. Everything happened. So I was laughing. And it was the uh, Coles brand. I tell you what, Coles makes a really good toilet paper. The Coles toilet paper is fantastic. I think it's a three ply and, mate, your finger doesn't go through it accidentally. Mate, what more do you want? That's right, panic buying. Well, I mean, I, I admit I did... Uh, when I saw some uh, five pack of noodles, I thought, "Oh, I better get those." And when I went to the tin section, like the tinned, uh, uh, like soup section, 
Well, no, it was the beans, beans and spaghetti and all those things. I went to that aisle. Mate, there was like all that was left was the home brand uh, Coles spaghetti at 65 cents a tin. I was like, I'll take some. Because I do love spaghetti on toast. You know, in the morning, some for breakfast, you know, some spaghetti on toast. And I've got one and a half loaves of bread in the freezer, uh, in the fridge. Everyone's going, Greg, why are you keep bread in the fridge? I said, like, where else am I supposed to keep it? I, mean, I live in the tropics. If I left it on the bench in three days, mate, it's fully moulded. There's just mould everywhere. So I keep it in the fridge. I can't keep it in the freezer because there's no space. So, yep, yep. Yeah, people are hoarding. Yep, yep. They're pretty selfish. Went to Bunnings and bought 20 toilet lids. And uh, put glue on a bucket. Made poo buckets. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> toilet lids. Stick it on a bucket. How's that going to help? How's that going to help anyone? <laughs> well, I can make it. Greg, Greg the Gardener is going to be onto that. How to make a poo bucket. Yeah. yeah Greg, the, uh, Greg the Gardener, he's, he's onto all those sorts of things. And did you see his latest one where he bought this suitcase? Bought that suitcase from, um, from uh, the op shop. Like it was $5, that suitcase. It's like a good, hard, solid plastic suitcase, like massive, like bigger than most other suitcases, five bucks. So I bought that and the lock didn't work. So I was like, ah, oh, forks and knives. But um, I watched a few videos on how to open it. Bang, I cracked the lock. It was great. So I made a video, stuck it on YouTube, how to crack a lock. And it works. Um, right, let's see. You love poo buckets. <laughs> Don't we all? Greg the Gardener. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's coming up to the season where Greg the Gardener's revenue goes through the roof. Tell you what, if I didn't have, like, Greg's kitchen channel, if I was just living off that revenue, I'd be really struggling. But it's the Greg the Gardener channel that still turns over. Even though I don't up to, like, upload to it very often, it still turns over you know, pretty well some revenue. So that, because of that channel, I can keep doing the Greg's Kitchen channel, which is really good. I just noticed I've only got 85 thumbs up. What is wrong with people? Here I am, like, like playing guitar. Is, is my guitar playing that bad that you can even thumb up with these, like this video? I can't believe it's not even up to 100 yet. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not talking until it gets to 100. Okay, well, it was went to 103. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not talking until it gets to 100. No. I'm not talking until it gets to 110. Hmm. Oh, 112. Thank you. That was quick. Uh, yeah, make a man. I thought you'd make a good amount from that. Nah. <laughs> oh, God bless you. No, I don't make a. Uh, you'd think, you think with all the effort that I put in that I do, I make it enough to live on without having any sort of spending money. But um, this channel here doesn't make any money. <laughs> it used to. But then they put in, I've got so many of those. Uh, like my video that I made two days ago, demonetized. Like I've got so many demonetized <laughs> videos on this channel. I haven't got one on Greg, the, Greg the, uh, Greg's Kitchen. I haven't got one demonetized video. Touch wood. Oh, or on Greg's, Greg the Gardener. This one, though. Oh, mate. I still get copyright strikes. Not copyright strikes, but strike videos. Like, 
oh, this has been offensive, blah, 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 blah. It's like I always I always do the old, nah, mate, nah, you're wrong. I get them to double check. Oh, no, we found that this video is okay. So, yeah, two right of this. This video, I'm not, I'm not even sure this one's monetized. I should demonetize it, actually, because let's see. Right, go into here. I'll go there. Right, right, right. Then I'll, oh, look at that thumbnail. Greg's practicing 88 watching. That's shit. I can't believe there's only 88 people watching when it's like everyone's at home, like doing nothing. Would I be watching me? That's what you got to think. Would I watch me? Well, I would. That's why I started making videos in the first place because there was no one else to watch. I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start making my own videos. Let's see, videos. Da, 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 da. No. Is there any live? What's my live things? Right, okay. Excuse me for a moment. Well, I, oh, here we go, live. Okay, right, right, no. Turn that money, turn it off. So, monetization off. Okay, good. Better turn it off because I did that cover of um, I don't want to miss a thing. So, I can't monetize it if I, and I'm very honest when it comes to that. You know, when you upload a video, you have to go through this whole thing. Have you done this? Have you said that? Is it rude? Is this whatever happening? And you have to go through and you have to like tick each box or you can just tick the bottom box saying no, none of that stuff. So I'm very honest when it comes to that. <laughs> Legendary Massa Moon. What is a Legendary Massa Moon? What is a Massa Moon? Please tell me. Any tips for going herb? Every time I try, they always die. Uh, well, if you, it depends. Are you growing them in the ground or are you growing them in a pot? If you're growing them in a pot, make sure it's got nice free draining soil. And it's not like, and if you are going to water it, then water it. If you are going to water it every day, make sure the water just flows through because plants hate uh, sitting in water. Although in saying that, uh, most of my plants like that I have here uh, are sitting in water, but it's hot here. So, you know, it's plus 30 degrees all the time, nearly all the time. It's starting to cool down a bit. But when it's really hot, uh, you're going to sit your plants in water because it just uses it. Otherwise, uh, don't sit your plants in water and water it. Give it heaps of sunlight, especially if it's like a herb that needs plenty of sun. Plenty of sun. Uh, I think they do like plenty of water as well and, and just a potting mix. Maybe try not to add too much other stuff to it. Uh, Anarchy, thank you very much. Want me to send you a poo bucket? <laughs> well, I get my... Uh, <laughs> I'd rather you send me the instructions on how to do it. <laughs> Because then I can make uh, then I can make my own. I think it'd be an awesome video for Greg the Gardener. A poo bucket. Yeah, if you could email me the instructions and the key on my uh, Greg's Kitchen Show at Gmail, that'd be awesome. And I'll make a video on Greg the Gardener on how to make a poo bucket. I reckon that would be an effing good video. I'll use that $2 to go and buy um, the, um, I think I've got a bucket here. I've got buckets. I just need to go and buy the toilet lid. Or I can just disconnect the one that's on my toilet or something. Or I can just go to a hotel and um, go into a Pacific Fair or something, into the stalls and like, rip those ones off! And like sort of stick it under my shirt and walk out like this. What do you got there, mate? Nothing. None of your business. What's that smell? Well, oh, that's just me, you know, I'm old. You know, a bit of leakage all the time, you know, old people, yeah, mate. Okay, sir, no worries. I saw somebody um, 
posted that they went to Pacific Fair and, like, the car park's empty. Mate, that place, oh, jeez, tell you what, I tell you what, play you a song. You love that song. Oh, God, I'm so far behind. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Did I watch the Joker movie? No, I haven't even seen Joker. No, I'm waiting for it to maybe come on Netflix. I wonder if it'll go on there for free. You see? That's how you... The way to make money is not to spend it. <laughs> I know that's wrong, but that's the way I do it. That's why I, I don't make a lot, but I can live on minimal. I'm a minimalist, so I don't make a lot of money, but... I can uh, I can spend it wisely. I just live cheap, you know. I have one light bulb on. Like at night time, I have one light bulb in the whole house on. I don't have like five light bulbs on. Just simple things like that. I mean, uh, they all add up. I mean, I've even got a salt lamp here that Mum gave me. It's one watt. It would use. How many watts is it like, uh, how long does it take to, I think it's like one twenty-four cents per thousand kilowatts. Is that a, th is a thousand kilowatts, so does that mean 24 cents, if one watt for a thousand watts, so to take a thousand hours of running that light bulb to cost me 24 cents, I still turn it off. <laughs> that would take like, that must be like two weeks of running constantly. I don't I can't even do that math. Sing a song, please. Uh, you're so lonely. We all are lonely, Chris. Everyone in this chat room is lonely. And for that, I have a song. Well, I don't, but... Let's see if I know something. Um, no, I don't. I don't know any other songs. I only know like three. I think I sang them all. Really good. Cheers to you, Greg. Bloody legend. Thank you very much, Really Good. It's a good name, Willie. Really good. That's a really good name. Because uh, the other song now I've got is, uh, like, they're all electric guitars. I see it in your eyes. The song's called I'm Insane. It's about uh, some guy that lives under a bridge. He's nuts. It's a song about me. I see it in your eyes. I see it in your smile The words I can't describe But they're tearing me apart Well it happened oh so soon Yeah it happens all the time Come under the bridge with me Drink some wine I know that you ignore me Don't want me, I will too
Because I still haven't um, finished the lyrics on that song. I wrote it 20 years ago. I still haven't finished the lyrics on it. I'm terrible like that. I start things I don't finish. You know, I, sometimes I start sentences. All right. Um, da, 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 da. I've got a few. I've got another song. I just... I've got a book. Where's my book of lyrics? No, here it is. I can read some poetry. We got all these lyrics. So these are all the songs that uh, that I've written. All the lyrics. Like some of these, like uh, see, like it. I I wrote that in nineteen ninety eight. All these songs, 1998. That's how long I've been writing stuff for. What's that? It's 22 years. I still haven't done anything with them. When I think of that, I just think how sad and pathetic I must be. Uh, lazy prick. Uh. Oh, Lord. I do like film. I sit and listen to uh, YouTube. Not sit and YouTube. Well, I do. Yeah, I put. I go and play all those music. My Sweet Lord is one of those songs. Uh, the Traveling Wilburys, I love. Uh, at the end of the line, all that sort of. Stuff. Um, Steve's music. Thank you very much, Steve's Music. Is your channel a music channel by any chance? New Zealand, $20. <laughs> Have you seen the Aussie dollar? Like the New Zealand dollar is pretty much on par with the Aussie dollar now, so thanks. Can't believe it. When I was running through, like, you know, how bad the Aussie dollar. The, the only good thing about the Aussie dollar shitting itself is that uh, uh, YouTubers get paid in US dollars. So basically, um, whatever you earn now, it's it's going to be like quite a bit higher than you know, what it was a few months ago. <laughs> That's the only silver lining on all of this. Thank you very much, Steve. I really appreciate it. Your original call with you, with you is awesome. Oh wow, thank you. Yeah, that's a that's an old. With you, I want to sail a boat into the ocean, we'll float. 
where I can be alone with you. That's on uh, my Greg's Tunes channel. I think it's got, um, I went to high, a, a, a hibiscus thing and it's, uh, I just filmed all these hibiscuses and I used that as the footage. Uh, g'day, Emma. How dare you? As 7H. As 7H. Greg, your glasses are crooked. Yeah, I know. They're broken. I don't know if you can see that. Thank you very much, As 7H. I've tried my best to, you know, duct tape them up. But there's only so much duct tape can do. Uh, please string Miss. Uh, I've already sung Mr. Stripey Head theme song. I'll sing it again though, because it, it, this was my um, concert, wasn't it? I put it out on the, the title of the thumbnail of this video is me doing this. I had to pose for that one. And you'll notice that all my songs use the same chords. Mr. Stripey Head is a good bed. You should keep it. See, they're all the same. They're all the same song, just the, the chords are mixed around a bit. I think I know how many chords. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I know six chords. That's all you need. All you need to know, do is know, like, uh, three. Supposed to be up doing a concert tonight, but uh, I was just coughing so much and I just feel like I uh, thought I'd better quarantine myself and stay away from everyone. And, and where's these glasses? Um, put these ones on now. Yeah, I love. I reckon all glasses shouldn't have that arm on them. It makes just life so much easier. Like this. Yeah, my what's up? Just like, yeah, all right. You know, no stress, no worry about like poking yourself in the eye. Just whack them on. Yep, 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 yep. No worries. Boom, boom, boom. Great. Greatest invention ever. Uh, you're on Smoko. Well, I'll leave you alone. You can't get pissed on 3.5% beer. That is absolute bullshit. You certainly can. I'm proving it right now. Uh, uh, I'm killing you. Oh, no. You'll donate $1,000 if I will do My Sweet Lord. I can't blame My Sweet Lord. Oh, actually, yes, I can. Yes, $1,000, radio. Oh, My Sweet Lord, hurry, hurry, My Sweet Lord. I really want to be with you. I really want to see you. I really want to be your Lord. I've been so long by the Lord. My sweet Lord. There we go. That's my finish. That's all right. That was all right, actually. There's, um, if I knew what the chords were, I'd probably play that. Barry Burke. Dan, I love the intro to Barry Burke. He was always funny. Does my mum watch this? She probably does. Like, <laughs> I'll get a, I'll get a message on WhatsApp going, Greg, I just saw your last video. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but you know, that's the only way she gets to see me. Really, she's always away and doing stuff. But yeah, I copped a few. Greg, I just watched your last video, and well, oh dear. <laughs> Ah, she likes it. I hope. See, all my glasses are crooked. Maybe my head's crooked. What if I turn them this way? Get eye. I'm Greg. Uh, when's the band's next gig? Uh, well. <laughs> It was supposed to be soon, but I think it's been cancelled, unfortunately. 
which is a real shame. We've got a few coming up. Um, they're all on Brian Sai's web. If you go on Facebook and type in Brian and Sai and go to the Brian Sai page, it's all on there. And uh, There was one today. There's two on today, which I couldn't make, but I will be... Um, um, I'll be going to, I'll be going to the next ones. That's if I and there was there's a few while I was supposed to be in America. I'm not sure if I'll be going to America now because of all this stuff, which is a shame. I really want to be with you. That's a good song, that one. No, it takes so long, my love. All right, ah, my sweet Lord. Kevin Wilson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I found some of his songs the other day. Ah, oh, greetings from Zimbabwe. You got the corona there? In Zimbabwe? Twan race. Yeah, you're not sure if I'm going to America. Still not sure. Uh, sing my song every day. Every day is a horrifying new one. She's a battle in a war that has never won. Yeah, I like that song. I listen to it all the time. It's on my playlist. And if I'm just feeling like rocking out, I go and stick every day by Greg's tunes on there. It's a rock. It's a full on. I tried to make it the hardest rock song that I could. It was a drum machine though. I couldn't figure out how to work the drum machine. So it was just me with one beat through the whole back. And I was just doing this on the cymbal things, doing like on this little machine that I had. So I put these on. Wow, I can see with these ones on. Wow. Wow. I don't really wear it. I'll let you out on a little secret. Like when I'm, uh, if you're watching my. <laughs> Those videos where I'm uh, doing reviews and I'm reading uh, the like the Frozen stuff. Where, wherever I'm reading that and it shows like the writing, I'm always got the glasses on and you can't see me wearing them. It's all in my just my guitar score. No, oh, no, I was going to bring up my iMovie, but I turned it off. Hi, Greg, you're cool. Thanks, Keith. Uh, can I do deep fried chip in a saucepan with extra virgin olive oil? Uh, yep. uh, no. Well, you could if it was like set to a low temperature and you cooked it long and slow. But if you wanted to cook it fast, you'd need a – see, olive oil burns at a lower temperature. That's why you need those – oils that burn at a higher temperature so you can crank the heat up. I did learn, I've learned a lot from uh, making cooking videos. I'm actually a pretty good cook. Like uh, when Bernice is here, she, like last thing I want to do is cook, but she's always, oh, Greg, can you cook tonight? I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. She goes, yeah, but you're the best cook. I mean, yeah, well, I am. I am pretty good. Um, crazy from Ice House. Oh, well, how's that go? Crazy. Yeah, I, saw, I think I saw Ice House uh, in Brisbane probably in about 1988 or something once. I'm 51 years old, everyone, by the way, so I'm an old man. I was born in the 60s, so I've been around. Can you tell by my grey beard? I do take care of myself, moisturising, although I do have massive Gordon Ramsay's right here. Yeah, who cares, mate? You know, the one thing I've learned about getting old is you just give up caring. Yeah, but you might offend someone. Good! That's what I say. <laughs> no, I get offended by people who get offended. So if somebody's offended, I'm offended. See, offended. More KFC reviews. Well, if they bring something out, I'll review it. 
I mean, if they're not re- bringing stuff out, I can't reveal it. What was the what was last week's? Didn't do very well. The Pizza Hut. That was good though. It tasted really good. But no one goes to Pizza Hut. Why would you? Like they're closed and shops left, right, and centre. They're ages. That's right. You're fifty-two. Fifty-one. Yeah, fifty-one. Can't believe it. I'm still up here. I'm still like six. But you know these things here. Yeah, the wrinkles are starting, and you know, I've got scars from getting like. Oh, oh what's that, a spider? Got all these scars here, there. All these cancers that I get cut off from. I got a cancer. Is it this this nose or this one? Can't really see it. I got a scar there from a cancer that was growing there. Got them everywhere. Luckily, they're not the bad ones yet. I certainly hope they don't turn into that. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love throwing those. You know, I always get comments. Can you stop putting that? That's what she said in the background. As soon as somebody tells me not to do something, I'll do it more because I know I'm pissing someone off. That's the secret to life. But I turn it down, yeah, I turn it right down. So the people that are searching for it, they'll hear it. You're 89 this year. Oh, well, you can do without that 1000 bucks you were going to send, send me for, um, for playing that song for you. Uh, is there times where you're childish? Uh, yeah, twenty four seven, pretty much. Um, oh God, not oh, Anthony Long. That's a new for a while. He's back in a live chat. You didn't expect me. I was all ready to absolutely drill the absolute shit out of that pizza hut because that's why I brought the scales because I knew it was 10 bucks and I thought, right, it's going to weigh 200 grams and that means they're charging $50 for a kilo of pasta, which I can buy for a dollar, $2 a kilo. But it was 400 and something grams, so I was like, nah. And then it tasted really good and I was like, ah, you know, you you just got to go by. I like to try and be honest with my reviews. So <laughs> I like to take the piss, though, because, you know, that's what life's about, isn't it, taking the piss? Uh, why is my head floating? I don't know. Is it? Oh, it's from the car key. <laughs> yeah. I have a towel there on my chair because I just sweat. And plus all the plastic's coming off, like on the handles here. See, it's all coming off. Hey, watch my groin. Stop looking at my bulge. What's my sign? Uh, the, the, the Libra. I'm a left-handed Libra. I'm an absolute legend. A Leo. Oh, my mum's a Leo. Did I hear about Kenny Rogers? Oh, is this a joke? Kenny Rogers. Uh, Kenny Rogers joke or is this true? Yeah, 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 that was, that was really good. Do a shoey. I don't even know what a shoey. Don't, don't do a shoey. What's a shoey? G'day, cool guy. And why am I gay? Oh, why not? What happened to the Bengal Tigers? I don't know. I'm not an encyclopedia. Why don't you Google that? Uh, moose knuckle. <laughs> Greg, how do you donate? Well, I don't know. I don't donate to what? Not the salvos? You know, you put your bags in one of those bins. Here you click a little dollar sign. You're better off going to, uh, if you want to donate, you're better off going to my PayPal. 
then YouTube doesn't steal money. Who do I go for in the NRL? Hmm. Well, uh, well, I lived in Brisbane, so the Brisbane um, Broncos. But now I live on the Goldie and they got the Titans. But, um, oh, but I was born in Townsville, so I go for the Cowboys. You're an encyclopedia. Well, that's good. Oh, Kenny Rogers passed away. Oh, that's a shame. He was a cool old man. I'll, uh, as soon as I'm finished with this stream, I'll go and listen to some Kenny Rogers, I reckon. It's 2.10 a.m. in Seattle, Washington. Oh, that's not the D.C. district. Area. That's the other. I've been to Seattle just straight for it. I did a road trip. In America, like back in the 90s, I went from St. Louis right down and then across to L.A., visited somebody, then right up the East Coast, right up through Seattle and into, is that Toronto up there in Canada? Yeah, I did that one. We were in Seattle for like three hours. We are like, it, it was like, um, what was that? That holiday road, that one where they're like, <laughs> where they hop out of the car and they're like, yeah, 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 okay. Well, I think they were at <laughs> Grand Canyon. Yeah, 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 right, okay, we've seen that, let's go. <laughs> that was our trip. It was pretty fun. It was with a bunch of guys, so. Oh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the vacation movie, that was funny. G'day, Ted. It's 3.30 a.m. Wow. What inspired all the fish and chip reviews? Uh, well, I was looking for content. And I'd done a few fish and chip. Like, I'd been and eaten a few fish and chip. Um, I've made a few fish and chip videos. And they always... You know, I got good views. And I was like, but it was like two years later when I sort of realised that <laughs> that I'd done so, and I was like, oh, I should do some more chip and fish and chip reviews. And then I did it, and then uh, people like fish and chips, you know, and it must be something people are searching for. So that's the secret. You just got to try and find things that people are like searching for. Like so I see some people like doing, making recipes like um, uh, pork loin, uh, like maybe it was it might be uh, pine pine nut pork loin with sabusachi sauce. I was like, no one's searching for that. Name one person that's ever searched for that. No one, and the, their views are crap. It's because no one's searching for it. But people are searching for fish and chips, and like those videos, they always get over 10,000 views. Anything over 10,000 views is pretty good, I reckon, especially in today's day and age. Search for Australia's best beer, mate. I'm already drinking it. I'm going to be doing a few more on the search fours. So keep your eyes open for those. I like searching for things. I like trying different things, new things, new foods. I mean, uh, I've got 800, I've got over 880 videos on my Greg's Kitchen channel, which means that's 880 different things that I've reviewed or made. So. Um, yeah, I've got a few more things that I'm going to start doing. I just don't know how many videos. See, the thing with the cooking channel is, wait, I just, I mean, I'm not too bad. I've, I've been, uh, I've lost a bit of weight lately because I just realised that I don't need to eat. I, I, I don't need to eat so as much as I do. Like, I don't eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. I might eat uh, lunch and then I'll just have a small snack for dinner so my calorie intake is 
probably a third of what it should be, but my body's just not, doesn't need it. I just, I just listen to my body. When my body tells me I need this, like today I bought some salad, I eat heaps of salad. Uh, today I went and bought salad and I made a salad. I stuck it in the fridge. It's already ready there uh, for later on. And it's all, all my salad is is lettuce, onion, and tomato. And then I'll add some mayonnaise or something. And that's it. And I'll just eat that for dinner. So I don't. I really don't eat that much food because I eat so much shit during the day, and most of it's, you know, pretty filling. Like today, I did a fish and chip review. I ate half of it. Then I brought the rest of it home, and I'll stick it in the air fryer and reheat that. Maybe the fish. I'll have that fish with the salad, and then the chips I'll keep, and then I'll uh, reheat those maybe another day. They'll last in the fridge for a week, surely, right? I could stick them in the freezer and just reheat them later. Um, Mr. Beard, you just subscribed. Well, what took you so long? Uh, your wife and daughter luckily just arrived in Australia. Oh, okay. G'day, Jessica. And wife, Hef Zibber. F Zuba, where is she from? Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, I'm sure you'll let me know. Uh, da, 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 da. You're 52. You weigh 60 pounds. Right. That's only like 25 kilos or something. <laughs> well, how much is in a beer? I think it's like 130 kilo joules. I don't know. Does it even tell you on here? I don't think it does. I don't think they want you to know. Well, it's 99% sugar free. Actually, if I hold it up here, it might tell me. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Energy. What? Four hundred and fifty four kilojoules. Holy shit. I didn't realize it was that much. Well, well I better slow down on the old beers. Four hundred and fifty four kilojoules. I thought they were only like a hundred and something, which means you could have 10, 20 of these a day and still lose weight. Actually, uh, I know a doctor and uh, he was telling me that um, alcoholics are skinny because once you drink past a certain amount, you start losing weight. You shouldn't have told me that. Ah. <sighs> Swap tomato for feta cheese. I'll tell you what, I paid a dollar five for my, I paid two dollars twenty or something for two tomatoes today. So I think probably feta cheese would be cheaper. A liquid sandwich. Yeah, I like that idea. Someone's trolling, are they? Yeah, I haven't even seen. Well, I've got, um, oh, well, you know, oh, I can just uh, do some stuff. There we go. Uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, moderators here. Do your job, moderators. Uh, you might be an alcoholic. Uh, I know a few. And <laughs> I always get up. I always get up. Just got to get up. 
Tofu is the best for losing weight. Jeez. I don't know, silver. Silf. Oh, is there footy on tonight, Brent? In the empty stadiums or something? Hey. Um, ah. Right. Well, you know what? I've been on here for two hours. I think I'm going to go now. What time is it? 7.30. Is there footy on or something on Sunday? Like my flu's starting to catch up. I'm starting to feel like tired, sore behind the eyes. Um, but uh, I want to thank everyone for coming in. I got 138 likes. Too bad I couldn't even get to 140, but, you know, what do you expect? What do you expect? Couldn't even get to 140. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, I've got washing to do. I gotta fold that shirt. I got my fishing rods here. What am I supposed to do? I got my guitar. That plant needs to uh, need to wipe the leaves on it. I haven't even had dinner yet. Oh, Stephen Paul Taylor. Stephen Paul Taylor. Oh, you're too late. I was watching you last night, Stephen Paul Taylor. On his uh, channel. Because everyone in those shit's stuck. I don't give a that damn your uncle Pam is a mother I don't give it again. <laughs> I know I was watching your I was watching your vlog yesterday, Stephen Paul Taylor, and I saw all that washing in your place. Your place needs a good coat of paint and some of those um, electrical things on the wall screwed up nice and tight. I can't talk about my walls anyway. They're they're pretty. They're not very good. This place needs a good kind of paint too. I wish there was somebody. Wish I could afford somebody to come and paint this place. I just love that smell of fresh paint as well. Go to the jetty for a fish. Yeah. What? Is, see, the reason why I don't go fishing right now is it's too hot. It's like 33 degrees, and when you go in the sun, it's like 50 degrees. And with my cancer-ridden skin, I just need to stay out of sun. If I do go, like I was riding to the beach, I'd ride to the beach and go for a swim in the afternoons when it was about 5 o'clock in the afternoon because the sun was still up, but uh, the strength of the sun was pretty mild by that stage. Actually, I think it's supposed to be on. I was 30-something degrees today. Uh, oh, let's see. Mum's still sending me emails about coronavirus. Oh, great. Be careful, she says. You're going to do another one today. Okay. Sweet. Oh, Steve-o. Uh. Oh, but I've listened to that. Everybody knows you. Huh? I don't even get that. But the third building failing, falling. How, how did that third building fall? What an inside job, right, Stephen? You're in Michigan. Sweet. You're eating curry and rice. Mm. How many beers left in the fridge? Uh, I've got uh, 28. 28 beers. I just went and bought a carton. Thanks to my beer fund donators. Today I went and bought a carton of 30 Forex girls. I paid full price too because they weren't on special. 
I could have got the um, the Carlton mids because I only drink mid strength, so I don't drink the heavy stuff. I can't, my, I can't cope with the heavy stuff, so I drink the uh, the mid strengths. The Carlton mids were a dollar cheaper, but no. And then there's the uh, Tums, which is ten dollars cheaper. But have you drunk that? You know, sometimes you just got to think I deserve better. So I went and spent money on the beer that I like. Sure, it costs ten dollars more than that horrible stuff, but that other stuff is. 330 mil cans and this is 375 mil cans. So you get an extra like a litre and a half anyway. So you know, it all adds up. It all adds up. Right, this guy's a wanker. You're uh boom. See you later, fella. Okay, uh, where are righty. Well, I've been on for two hours. I'm going to go. I'll leave with a song. It won't be as good as one of Stephen Paul Taylor's, but hey. Okay. What if I can think of the... really need to practice more. Should I come on and do more me practicing my guitar videos? Let me know. Oh, maybe I have to cross my legs the other way. I'm hopeless. I need way more practice. I'm going. I got a salad in the fridge with my name on it. So I'm going to go. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks to all those people who um, gave me those super chats, too. Really generous. And um, I really appreciate it. And. Well, we'll see you next time. The show comes to town. Thank you. When's the next vlog? Well, who knows? I got no idea. I just make them like I was going to make one today. But I did some other things. I thought, oh, I'll just go live today instead. So I don't know where my next vlog is. I mean, if I'm stuck at home, there's not much I can vlog about because I, I have no life, so. Um, yeah. But thank you very much, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>